Welcome to Exomagic Tech number 713. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my College website link and you can download the workbook Exomagic Tech 711 to 714. In this trick here we have a list of results and we need to count for each one of the possible occurrences the max number of times it happens in succession. For example, this is just a little small data set. There's a much uh, bigger, huge data set over here. but uh, if we have a little small data set, it's easier to see how the formula works. So our goal here is we need to find out from this column, one, two, three, four, five occur here. For zero, the max number that occur in succession without other numbers in between should be two. Now, we're going to use the frequency function here. And if you want to learn more than you ever wanted to know about the frequency function, boom, there's a great video on this. Now, Colin Legge, uh, um, Excel Microsoft MVP and, and Mr. Excel MVP posted the solution to this. And totally awesome. I hadn't seen the, uh, a solution like this. Just a great use of the frequency. Frequency has so many great uses, and this is yet another. Now. I actually want to start my formula instead of in the zero down here in the number four. And we're going to use frequency. And the only trick is what are we going to put in for the data? That's all the individual data bits and the bins. The bins are the upper number for each category. Now let's think about this. If we put data in here for and took the row numbers. We could say something like, anytime you see a 4 here, because that'll be our criteria, give me the row number. We get row 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That could work for our data array, but what about the bins? Well, what if we said anything here not equal to 4? We'd get a 5 and an 11. We get, we get a 2, 3, 4, 5, and an 11. All of these would get counts of zeros because the frequency, the, the row numbers that we'll put in there will be the upper end, and there are no fours there. But this 11, that particular category, uh, less than or equal to 11 or greater than 5, will get all of these numbers right here, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So bins, we're going to say not equal to 4. Data, we're going to say equal to 4. We're going to use the if, if. Anything, the logical test will be there. Click, Control, Shift, Down, Arrow, and then F4 to lock it. Anytime that's equal to this 4 right here. Well, what do we want? Logical test, comma, value of true, row. I'm actually going to highlight this. Copy. Give me the row of that. Now, again, that'll give us 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's close parentheses on that. So we have our if and our row. That's great for the data array, comma. Hey, this copy for the bins, we're going to use the exact same thing. So I copy that control V. I'm just going to say not. Now, the bin, again, it's going to say not. So it's going to get 2, 3, 4, 5, 5. But the 5 to 11 will count the ones that are equal to 4. Let's go ahead and highlight each one of these and see. Here's that first bit. This is the data we're counting, F9. Okay, So you can see we get all these falses because those aren't equal to 4. But we get a 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, row numbers, Control Z. And for the bins, F9. We get those, which don't matter because there aren't any fours, but f everything greater than 5 but less than or equal to 11. All of these numbers broop, will be counted in that particular uh, category. The 12, 13 again, and so on, those are not equal to the 4, but there aren't any fours over, so it doesn't matter. Control Z. Let's just enter this. And s um, well, actually, I'm sorry. I'm going to enter it and copy it up. And then I want to see what it is delivering. It's not going to give us the right answer. But let's highlight this in F9. Remember, bin, the bins and the data, F9. It's a, a string of zeros because the 4 only occurs once and a 5. OK, I'm going to hit Escape. Let's come to this 2 and highlight it and hit F9. See, because 2 is happening there, there, and then there's a string of 2's down here, F9. Look at that. It happens once there, in succession, once there, but four times there. So now we can see the frequency is delivering an array of numbers. And we're interested in what? The max successive count, which is four. Control-Z, I'm just going to put the max. So give me the max of that array. 
We have to enter this with Control Shift Enter, Control Shift and Enter. Copy it down, copy it up. All right, so there we see for zero we have two. For number one, there's three there. Uh, two, two we see that there's four. Zero that means there aren't any threes, and four gets five. So that's just a beautiful formula from Colin Leg at the Mr. Excel message board. Another awesome use for frequency function, max in succession. See you next trick.